All right, this, this is the A-series pickup head. This is where the magic happens. And, and of course, this is the, the largest of the pickup heads. This is gonna fit the seven, eight, and nine. And let's go over to kind of how it works. This is a box that seals to the ground. We have suction here being drawn into the inlet of the fan. We have pressure coming through this slot that's coming from the pressure side of the fan. So what's really happening? This is acting like a leaf blower, working along the surface for the entire width under the truck, lifting the material up and getting it rolling and getting it mobile off the street surface. As that happens, it starts to work its way across here and then is, is drawn up into the hopper through the suction side. So how, does that, how, how do we make that work? Well, in order for this, this regenerative flow to work, we need to seal it. So this is, a, this is a carbide runner that sits flat on the ground. Now, very differently than the pure vacuum you're used to, that if you don't have a leak at the bottom of that head, it won't do anything. You have a controlled gap at the bottom of a suction nozzle on a pure vac. Not only will this not work, that's not something you ever want to do. Because you want this baby to seal to the ground because all your works, you already have that, that activity from this air knife working your material. You don't need that leak coming in the side to turbulate the material and pick it up. So we seal on the ends with these. There's carbide embedded in here because this is a wear surface directly against the street. This is one thing that the guys that get hooked on pure vacuum always struggle with. Pure vacuum runs on casters. It does not leave a white stripe down the road. These can. Particularly when they're new, you'll get one of these carbides that isn't perfectly flat, and you'll see this little white stripe going down the road. And I have seen people have just absolute fits over that little white stripe going down the road. Now, eventually it will wear off, that will go away. If you have your pressure setting on these right, you set it by springs hanging from, so it's just floating on the ground. But uh, I about got kicked out of Tiananmen Square in China for leaving a white mark down their sidewalk. So we seal on the edge with the carbides. We seal the back with these two, these two flaps. Now you notice these flaps slightly protrude, not by a lot, but slightly protrude down here. Because when you want that, when you are towing this head forward, these are actually going to bend and seal to the ground. Same thing's going to happen in front. This flap is going to, and it would normally be sticking up a little bit if we were like this, it would actually pull down a little bit. So when you're starting your demonstration on an A-series truck with a, with a regen head on it, always pull forward. If you start that truck without the head being pulled slightly forward, these things aren't touching the ground because they're sitting on these rubbers. Especially when the rubbers are brand new, especially when you get them from the factory. So before you start your walk around with the engine running, you always make sure that you've towed that head a little bit and got these flaps sealed to the ground. Just kind of an important tip for, uh, for doing your demos and your training, because it will leak until these roll up underneath. So air blast through, recirculate out here, through there, seal to the ground here. Make sense? Couple things that, again, differentiate it from pure vacuum. Because we get to use both sides of energy on the fan, both the pushing side and the sucking side, we literally can move twice as much air with the same amount of horsepower. Or maybe we wanna say we move the same amount of air with half the horsepower. If we were to compare this to say a, a, a big airport sweeper uh, made by, of course, Johnson's sister company, Beam, well, they, they, take 200, they put 200 horsepower into those suction heads to get the same performance that we can do with this with 100 because we're using both sides of the fan. They're taking their vent air, heating it, and sending it to space. All that's wasted energy. So when you start to go up against, particularly a pure vacuum runway sweeper, always keep in mind we can do twice the amount of work because we're using both sides of the fan. Now, when we talk about pure vacuum, I'll tell you, why there's some cases where pure vacuum is still very important. But when we're talking about regen, especially if the guy has traditionally been in, in vacuum and wants to talk about regen, those are the things you remember. Using both, both sides of the fan, you're doing your work here in a sealed loop. All the time, stay sealed.
Make sense? Questions? How does this uh, setup differ from the competitive regenerative uh, switching? The, the question is, how does our setup here differ from how the competitors do it? Well, there's a bunch of magic inside here. First of all, I can tell you that if you looked at them, there's probably not a lot of visible distance, visible difference in these heads. There are some air turning veins in here that become very critical. We work on those a lot. We've made them very, very efficient. I will tell you the air turning heads in this vein, the, the air turning veins in this head are better than the Elgin's. And that's because that's I worked on both, so I know. So I'm not just making that up. Um, therefore, we can actually do quite a bit more performance because of that efficiency. So the difference is, and I hate to use the word magic, but it's subtle things about the airflow and subtle things about the way that we move material under the head. That is the difference. Everybody's regen works. But I will tell you, and I'm saying this with a certain degree of comfort, uh, that I'm comfortable in saying this because I've seen it, we can probably outsweep anybody else pretty much hands down. And I've done it multiple times. In fact, here's a great example I'll talk about. There is a Timco specification. It gets written into a lot of bids that calls for a mechanical device that takes this flap and pushes it up out of the way to let leaves in. They call it a front flap lifter. And never made sense to me until I saw how little vacuum that you had with the Timco. Here's why they do it. They don't run very much negative pressure in here like we do. We can open the vacuum enhancer, and, and, or the leaf bleeder as it's sometimes called, that is a valve that changes the amount of blast to vacuum. It blasts some of the vacuum off. So it starts working in some ways like a little bit of a pure vac, because we're dumping some of the pressure that we would normally get through here. But it changes the bias of this head from neutral to some vacuum. We can actually pull enough, particularly for leaves and light material, we turn down the airflow here with the leaf bleeder. It pulls so hard, it sucks this flap in, and all the leaves go right up underneath it. We don't need to mechanically lift it. You can actually sit and watch that flap go in or out by using the leaf bleeder in the cab with the engine running. And we do that a lot for demonstrations, particularly if it's been traditionally a Timco customer, because they maybe even bring up, well, where's your flap lifter? They would say, we'll show you the flap lifter, and you get in the cab and you do it with the air. You say, now would you rather do that with the air than with moving pieces? And they're normally going to say, yes, we get that. And it also demonstrates two things. It demonstrates you don't need much moving pieces down here. Also demonstrates the huge difference in power that we have with these trucks versus the competition. What is the leaf leader in there? Is it just a valve? What is it? It, it is a valve that dumps some of the air out of the fan, and you control that from the cab. So the operator has complete control over basically the position of this flap by changing the vacuum that's in this head. The question was, will people accept the fact that we can lift the front flap with vacuum as opposed to, to mechanical lifter as the Timco uses? And the answer is yes, we have always taken exception to it and I don't think we've ever been kicked, we, we've never been kicked out because we can perform it. And, and the best thing to do is, boy, just show them. Because it's, it's, it's a very good visual watching that flap go in and out. Because they, they, they may think you're telling them stories till you actually do it, then it's, then it's perfectly clear. In fact, at which time we have an advantage now because they've played the game with having that mechanical device. We say, nah, we don't do it with a mechanical device. We do it this way. So, you stand in front and watch the head go. Watch the flap go in and out. Okay. Best, best way to present this on a demo is to have them watch the front flap have somebody in the cab with the engine running, and by the way, higher RPM is better because the vacuum will go higher, and just move it, and you can watch this flap go up and down. Now, we also have as a, uh, as a training aid and, and as a sales aid, that video of that happening is on the website. So you can actually do this even without a truck. You can show them how that's working. So hopefully, if you're talking to a guy who, who might be Timco leaning, show them this just on the website, and they'll probably, they'll say, if necessary, on the bid, something like that. So you don't even have to contend with it. Because we can do everything that they're intending to do. We don't need to do it with, we can do it without parts. Do it without moving pieces. Okay, good. That's, that's the secret and magic of the regenerative head. Okay, the question is, what am I looking for if all of a sudden your performance isn't working the way you know that it should be? And you've got a handful of things to look at. Yeah, you may have a chunk missing out of this. Because remember, we need to seal to the ground. 
you may have a misadjusted head and it's lifted up. And a lifted up head will be pretty doggone obvious because when you close that, that, that leaf bleeder and you start to put pressure in here, if these aren't sealed, you'll have a blast out. You'll see it right away. But more often than not, when it's not working right, right here is plug solid. There is either a Christmas tree in here, a bunch of sticks mixed together with clay, a wad of leaves. There is something right here. And when we get over to the truck, you're going to see that we have the ability to pop that ring off on the head, which would be right here, and clean it out and then put the ring back on. And that's fairly new, correct? Last three years, probably. Yeah. 